Hello you, it's Josh here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new series. Now this is exciting because I'm starting a brand new series which you may think, oh Joshua you do that loads, which I mean to be fair I do. I haven't finished the last two parks I made. But this time I actually have a plan to make this work. How exciting, I know. So here obviously you can see we have this massive massive plot of land and the first thing we need to start off with is obviously an entrance. Now I've just been working out for the last couple of minutes how I'm actually going to do an entrance for this because uh, truth be told I'm not great at making entrances. Uh, it's, it's a thing that many people aren't very good at in the game and just in all games apparently because whenever I try and search up for ideas just they're all, <laughs> all crap. But I think I've come up with a really cool idea for what I could do here, uh, it, it, because something that I want to focus on in this uh, pack is terrain, because a lot of people in the game, and they, they, I, this is not like, you know, shitting anyone off, I, I do this a lot too, is that I just build an entire flat park. Uh, or just do very minimal terrain work around some roller coasters or something like that, and then it looks crap. Um, you are, so something that I'm going to really focus on in this park is terrain, and I'm going to make it a challenge for myself. I'm going to make terrain in this park that's stupid to the point where <laughs> it's going to make it really hard, but also really interesting. I think because with the, uh, the, the with the whole idea of making it harder. I'm going to be having like cliffs and stuff like that and steep slopes and things like that which means I'll be able to build terrain coasters which is something you don't see too much in this game except for maybe some sledge coasters every so often at Christmas. You don't really see many massively terrained parks with challenges. So that's what I'm going to do in this series. I'm going to make it a bit more of a challenge. Now I'm saying this now and I guarantee I'm going to just completely forget that I've said this. But <laughs> Which we can hope not, um, but yeah, potato, potato, I don't know what's going to happen. You guys already know what's happened, I guess, so saw a thumbnail in this video and you know what the park entrance looks like. I don't have a fucking clue. But anyway, I say we actually get on with building that entrance now instead of just faffing around, just flying around this big empty park. It's not very, not very exciting just flying around this empty ass park, is it? Uh, no, it isn't is the answer. You're wrong if you said yes. Uh, <laughs> go watch another video. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. Without further ado, let's get on with the time lapse and building this damned entrance. Right, so here we are in the time lapse then. So we're going to be starting off here by doing loads of different things all at once because basically at the start here I had no idea what I was doing. I had absolutely no idea and I was just trying to work out how I wanted to do this because I already knew that I wanted to have it on three different tiers with like <clears throat> a theme of bricks and also like make it look like a wood cabin sort of thingy because I want this park to be a realistic park but I also want it to um, be like, I, I don't really know what country I want it to be. I think I want it to be like German, uh, like a Germany sort of theme, but I'm not sure. Maybe I want it to be British because that's where I, you know, excel because I'm British. But I, I don't know if you really find this sort of architecture. It feels very German for some reason. I don't know why. It might not even be remotely German, but my, uh, but it just, I'm, you know, I just uh, go and look. Mm, yes, that, that feels like German. But anyway, what we've done here then is we've decided finally that we're going to have these three different layers here with the different fences. And then I've decided I'm going to use these coins here to make the little like 3D brick design mixed with some original bricks. But the problem that you'll see throughout this entire time lapse is that I have a real problem trying to decide what fence I'm going to use. And I couldn't for the life of me work out a good fence to use. I, I do eventually here as you can see. I've just worked it out there. That's the fence I was going to be using for the entire thing. But it took me absolutely forever to come up with a design that I liked for the fences. But anyway, here we go. We've, uh, I've just changed that little bit of a corner there a tiny bit just so it looks like it's sloped going into a, a stairs because my idea was is that I want it to be accessible for disabled people and also you know um <clears throat> and also like uh, like almost like the stairs have just been installed uh, like the slopes have just been installed recently so it doesn't 
you know, look like it's been constantly like that because it probably would have been because, like, rules have been updated and they've got to change sort of thing here, you know? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we've started to uh, <clears throat> build the actual building here now. And you can see here how we've got it on two different levels, of course. And then <clears throat> we've got, like, this one down at the bottom, which has got a slightly different design because the one up at the top, that's got the uh, brown part of the top with the like, lines coming down on it, where the, whereas the other part doesn't. You'll see why in a set why in quite a bit but you can see here now we've done all of the uh stone work around it you can see those pillars there have actually got little uh roof trims on the edges just to make it look really like uh really nice and then what we're doing right here as you as you've just seen is we're actually chucking in those little thingies under the roofs to uh make it look like it's supported almost and then we've, uh, we're chucking in all the windows of course here to make that look all nice and then now we've better now we've pretty much done that entire side although some things will change in just a bit <clears throat> so keep your eye out for that we are going to start doing this middle part here right now which looks just like that it's got those nice curved it looks quite curved and i actually am really happy with this because it goes right, uh, it looks really like what you'd find in this sort of thingy. Uh, and it curves round in that, I don't know why, it just looks really good, I like it. But now, yeah, we're chucking in the other pass for the other side, so we're just duplicating it pretty much at this point, because both sides are exactly the same. We've just chucked those lights in there, which those lights are just, um, uh, they're just the ones that they've just been added in. Uh, well, actually, I'm recording this at Christmas, there've probably been m more lights, actually, by the time this comes out, but, um... Those lights right there, I think, work really well and match really well. But anyway, what we're doing here is we're just duplicating it across as well as doing that middle tower where it has that little door and that decal, uh, which I think looks nice. Uh, yep, nice. Uh, so now we're just adding all these roof trims, which took the absolute piss. Uh, th this is sped up 3,000 times, by the way. Uh, or 3,000% 3, 3, or something like that. It, I, I don't know exactly how many times it is because it's Adobe uh, Premiere Pro, but yeah. Uh, it's very, very fast, so it seems like it's not taking very long, but it is. But anyway, we're getting all those windows in there now, and then what we're doing is we're finishing all the path work here, because we've obviously got all those coins to chuck in, which again took forever. Doesn't look like it, though, does it? We're adding in the little details now, fixing that, and we're putting in some uh, bushes and stuff here, because obviously we need the bushes to uh, make it look nice. And then now what we're going to start doing, because we've pretty much done the front now, uh, is we're going to start doing the side. So you can see here how we start putting these chimneys in, which I think... Looks quite nice because I didn't really want to put any windows on that side because I feel like they wouldn't have any windows. Um, <clears throat> uh, so we took the windows in there and then we start doing the back sides of both of them here. So we start doing this side and then we'll go over to the other side. But something that I did want to quickly speak about, about while this is happening because not much is uh, not much exciting is really happening right now, is it? Is what I'm going to do with the car park. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a big car park on the left. Not too big, but big enough so it looks realistic. Um... And then on the right, I'm going to maybe do some little log cabins to make it look like it's a little resort almost. Uh, because I think that's a really cool idea of what I could do there. So I might actually do like a little resort over there. Or I might add another car park. Tell me what you think down below. Because uh, I don't really have an idea exactly of what I'm going to do there. So if you do have an idea, tell me of course. I might just leave that as forest and then we can build some roller coasters into there or something like that. But at the same time, if I, if I do build some cabins or something there, and eventually I do need the space for roller coasters, that's absolutely fine, I guess, isn't it? I can just change it. But we are coming to the end of the time lapse now, so I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, there's going to be some little thingies, uh, some little nice looking thingies at the end here, but I'm going to end off this now. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.